Did you know that ticks can be a silent killer for your pets? You might be familiar with these small, eight-legged parasites that latch onto your beloved dogs and cats, feeding on their blood. They're typically found in various habitats, but they have a particular fondness for wooded areas, tall grass, and shrubs. Now, what makes ticks more than just a nuisance? Well, these tiny creatures pose a serious threat to our pets, as they can transmit a variety of diseases, including Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and tick-borne encephalitis. Each of these illnesses can cause significant health issues, and in some cases, even result in loss of life. Let's consider a personal account. Picture a sweet dog named Baloo. It's January, not the usual tick season, yet Baloo still ends up with a tick. This might come as a surprise to many pet owners. After all, it's winter. But the reality is, ticks can be active even in unexpected times, such as the colder months. This incident serves as a stark reminder that the danger of ticks is not confined to a particular season. Ticks are more than just blood-sucking pests. They are carriers of disease, posing a significant risk to the health of our pets. In particular, dogs and cats are vulnerable to the threats posed by these parasites. The diseases ticks carry can cause a range of symptoms in our furry friends, from fever and joint pain to skin rashes and more. And it's not just about the immediate effects. The danger of ticks lies in their ability to transmit diseases that can lead to serious, long-term health problems. For instance, Lyme disease, one of the most common tick-borne diseases can result in chronic joint inflammation, kidney damage, and even neurological disorders in dogs and cats. So, it's clear that ticks can be a real menace to our pets, but what diseases can they transmit? Stay tuned as we delve into the specifics of these diseases, starting with Lyme disease, in the next segment of our video. One of the most common diseases transmitted by ticks is Lyme disease. A bacterial infection, it's caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi and is prevalent in North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. The primary carriers are the American dog tick and the black-legged tick who, after biting an infected host, can pass the bacteria to dogs and cats when they bite. In dogs, Lyme disease can manifest in several ways. Fever is a common symptom, often coming hand-in-hand -hand with lethargy and a decreased appetite. Dogs may also develop arthritis, experiencing joint pain and swelling usually affecting their hind limbs. In some cases, a distinctive bullseye rash may appear at the site of the tick bite. Rare but serious complications can include neurological problems, such as facial paralysis and difficulty walking. Cats, though less susceptible to Lyme disease compared to dogs, can also exhibit similar symptoms when infected. They too may develop a fever, coupled with lethargy and loss of appetite. Joint pain, though less common in cats, can lead to stiffness and lameness. One symptom more prevalent in cats is lymphadenopathy, where the lymph nodes, often in the neck and armpits, become swollen. Diagnosing Lyme disease as early as possible is crucial for timely treatment and preventing further complications. Veterinarians typically diagnose Lyme disease through a combination of methods. A thorough examination of the pet's history, symptoms, and physical findings is the first step. Blood tests are then conducted to detect the presence of antibodies against the Lyme bacterium in the bloodstream. In certain cases, imaging tests like x-rays or ultrasounds may be used to evaluate joint inflammation or neurological issues. The range of symptoms is quite extensive, isn't it? From fever and joint pain to neurological problems and swollen lymph nodes. But rest assured, Lyme disease is treatable. And with early detection and proper care, your furry friends can make a full recovery. It's quite a list of symptoms, isn't it? But don't worry, Lyme disease is treatable. So, what if your pet contracts Lyme disease? It's a scary thought but don't panic. There are treatment options available. If your pet is diagnosed with Lyme disease, the primary course of action is a regimen of antibiotics. The most commonly prescribed are doxycycline and amoxicillin. These work by killing the bacteria causing the illness, allowing your pet to recover. The length of the treatment can vary, typically ranging from four weeks to several months, depending on the severity of the disease and the overall health of your pet. It's important to note that while antibiotics can eliminate the bacteria, they may not alleviate all symptoms immediately. In some cases, pets may still experience joint pain or other lingering effects. It's crucial to maintain open communication with your vet, monitor your pet's progress, and make sure they're comfortable during their recovery. Now, while treating Lyme disease is possible, wouldn't it be better to prevent it in the first place? Absolutely. Prevention starts with regular tick checks. After your pet has been outdoors, it's essential to thoroughly examine their entire body for ticks. Ticks prefer warm, hidden areas, so pay special attention to the ears, between the toes, and under the tail. If you find a tick, it's important to remove it promptly and correctly to reduce the chance of disease transmission. However, 
Tick checks are not enough on their own. Professional preventive measures can greatly reduce the risk of Lyme disease. There are a variety of tick control products available on the market, such as spot-on treatments, tick collars, and oral medications. Your vet can help you choose the most suitable option for your pet. Additionally, consider reducing tick habitats in your yard by keeping grass short and removing leaf litter. Limiting your pet's access to high-risk areas like tall grasses and wooded areas can also be beneficial. Remember, the best treatment is always prevention. By being proactive in checking for ticks and using preventive measures, you can protect your beloved pets from the threat of Lyme disease. Let's revisit what we've learned about ticks and their threat to our pets. These tiny eight-legged parasites are not simply irritating pests. They are carriers of serious diseases such as Lyme disease, which can cause a range of symptoms in dogs and cats, from fever and joint pain to neurological problems. Lyme disease is caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi and is transmitted through the bite of an infected tick. It's prevalent in many parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. Early diagnosis is crucial for timely treatment, which typically involves antibiotics like doxycycline or amoxicillin, but prevention is always better than cure. Regular tick checks, especially after outdoor activities, are key to keeping ticks at bay. Ticks are a serious threat, but with knowledge and vigilance, we can keep our pets safe.